right in front of the goal, and it's in. Dragons announcing both starting lineups for Taylor Alderdice. Number one, Ozan Metviev. Number two, Tatum Miller, defender. Number three, Jack Cohen, defense. Number five, Alex Lieberman, defender. Number eight, Jacek Pikett, midfield. Number nine, Peter Mayer-Fopoulos, forward. Number 11, Pierre Cosby, forward. Number 15, Daniel Moya Gibbon, defender. Number 19, Luca. Pierre, midfield. Number 29, Native Gill, defender. And number 30, Ethan Hefley, defender. And for our Peter Township Indians, number 21, Adam Sandrowski, defender. Number nine, Nathan Fralick, midfielder. Number 27, Blake Gablehart, midfielder. Zero, zero, Marcus Isaac, goalie. Number two, Caden Hensler, defender. Number 19, Devin Kelly, midfielder. Number 11, Alex Therese, striker. Number 13, Dante Pusateri, midfielder. Number 3, Adam Smiga, midfielder. Number 6, Camden Glass, defender. And number eight, Braden Apple, midfielder. All right. Well, this is Eric Smiga, and we have ben here today. Um, first game for you, huh, Ben? It is my first oh game man, this is this is exciting stuff. You wait. You it's good just, to be up here in the box. For yeah, sure. going to be addicting. You know. Beautiful day for soccer, isn't it? We got Peters Township's men's soccer team against the Alder Dice or the Dice Dragons today. Mm. Second sectional game of the season. Typical starting lineup for the Peter Township Indians, at least so far this year, yep. with a couple injuries um, waiting to come back. One of them being Parker Weiss. Have we heard uh, an ETA on Parker Weiss? I have not, but I'm guessing about a week. Yeah. Uh, but that is strictly a guess. So Dice has the ball um, as they're uh, starting the game here. Peters Township is in the typical red home uniforms, and the Dice is in the white. Glass on defense, kicks it out. <coughs> Hoping to recover from a disappointing uh, loss the other night against Cannon Mac. Yeah, it was a tough game. It was a fun game. It was a fun game, and I felt like, you know, Peters, you know, I may be biased, but they seem I like the better biased. team to me. <laughs> well, we played a man down for 20-plus minutes. That's and really, right. We had opportunities, and typically if you don't have your opportunities go in, you, you wind up on the bad end of a 2-1 to one loss. That's but right. Here we are against the Dice, hopefully a rebound game. Boys get their footing underneath them. Uh, we got the business person special today, 345 here, huh? Right. A little bit of a sparse crowd to start the game, but uh, nonetheless, we'll see what happens as uh, people get done with their, their day jobs. Absolutely. We Fry got like fighting through here. In the yep. First shot looks like uh, off of uh, 
One of his own players. In. We're heading to a goal kick. Let's see here. We got game power. Yeah, I forgot. Coach seemed pretty pleased last night with the game overall. You do have that on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Peters has them pinned in their defensive zone right now. Um, Adam Smeek is on the center defensive mid. Pretty exciting for this announcer. We'll say that. Yeah, we'll be biased. Absolutely. Yeah, and we got Jevin. We got Kelly again. Yep. Jevin and Adam right there together, and Jevin's bringing He's the ball got up. Three guys. Let's see if he can get across. And no, nope. mm. just a goal kick. Goal just kick ran it out. Barely out. Just a bit outside. <laughs> Jevin's a junior, correct, Ben? Jevin is a junior this year. Yes. Yeah. All right. Large Adam is what? Is he's he a, a junior he's as well. He's a junior as well. Yeah, we okay. have a massive junior class of yeah, soccer we players. Do. Absolutely. Uh, which should bow well as they continue to grow together. I think they said only seven seniors on this team. I was going to say six right? or seven. Yeah. yeah. Six or seven is, is it. And I think junior wise, we have at least 12. Yeah. I would have to count it out, but at least. I think you're right. On the varsity team. Peters has had the ball in the dice zone for the majority of the, the beginning part of this game. Uh, both teams just feeling each other out. No real scoring opportunities yet. Uh, dice centers to the middle. Peters clears it outside. Not a lot of talking yet in the overall in the game, but um, as typical, both teams are trying to figure out who, where, the, where the strengths and weaknesses of each other are. That's a handball, but not called. <laughs> It's amazing the view we have from up here with things like handballs and yeah, such, right? Yeah, yeah. It's we'll a different view down there on the field for those refs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Referee seems pretty comfortable hanging out in the middle right now. Yeah. Doesn't look too stressed about this game. So we'll see as the game persists. <laughs> we got Froelich. Definitely where most of the balls come off his foot to set up the offense here. Mm -hmm. Dante Pusateri with the ball right now. Taken away by the Dice team. Good defense bracketing their uh, right winger there as Dice brings it up the field here. Sandrowski had himself a real busy night the, last night. He sure did. Like Cannon Macker two nights ago. Oh, he looked really good. My man must have been sleeping well and hydrating well because <laughs> he, he had to have been exhausted. But yeah. heck of a game from uh, from Sendro, as they refer to him, right? Absolutely. Here's Paris. Yep. I'd like to introduce you to a name for Paris that I've been calling him since he was a little boy, and that is Biebs, as in Justin Bieber. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I got it. So the Biebs. He, he does um, have that Bieber thing going yeah, on, doesn't so, he? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, don't, you know, feel free to. Feel free to utilize it. He does respond to Biebs. <laughs> does um, he? Yes, he does. Okay. Yeah. I've known him since he was a little kid. He's always been a really good player, I tell you that. Yeah, he's a good good player. Definitely wants a goal. It's been close, but nothing yet so far this uh, this season. Dice right outside the 18 here. Uh -oh. Number three just got by. And first shot, just a bit high. Just a bit high. We got a goal kick. Nice play by... Uh, yeah, that was number three, Jack Cohen. Nice th nice play by Mr. Cohen there. To get around number 19, Chevin Kelly. Will he get dinner after that play? Or? We'll see how the rest of the game goes okay. here, Eric. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you that. Know. You never know. It's a, you know, it's a whole game, so... Yeah. I'm Din taking notes. Don't worry. All right, dinner is at stake. <laughs> but Chevin did get a little, you know, little, little dicey there, huh? Exactly. <laughs> I think he's used to putting the moves on uh, yeah. defenders, not used to being the I defender. I didn't see the switch, but he definitely was playing defense at that moment there. He was. He worked his way all the way yeah. down the line, I guess. So that was, that was positive, right? Absolutely. Throw look to Adam. Adam to the dice there. Not a great ball. Sendra with the call there. Get tripped from behind from an older dice player. Definitely looked accidental, but still a trip. Tough double yellow the other game with that trip as the second one. And again, the yeah. bias coming into play maybe, but it did not look like it warranted a double yellow to me. Uh, second yellow. I would I would say the second yellow was a yellow. I you will think tell so? that I do, yeah. man. Yes, okay. I do. I, I think that's called every every game a, a trip, open yeah. field, you know, high, whether intentional or not, irrelevant. I, I feel like that's a yellow every time. Okay. I well, think they the first one gave it to him. Yeah, I think the first one might have been, you know, that could have been soft, but yeah. I don't think the ref had much choice in open field but to call that, unfortunately. Well, so end of story, we're not seeing Sawwitch out here today. 
Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. So that was his second yellow, so he doesn't get to play today. Oh, is I'm he assuming. Suspe- is that a is that a whip heel thing? Because I, I know the rules are different for cup, but you might be right. He I might believe have to, that's true. I saw he, him in the black shorts he, on the side. Okay. So that, there you go. Yeah. I know for in whip heels you have to sit out if you get a yellow five minutes, but I you might be right if you There's get a red. That hand. is a, a blatant, blatant hand. hand that they're just not yeah, calling. Yeah, that ref's about 500 yards behind. Yeah. He should go through uh, Bobby Cosby. Dyer's workout, uh, you know, for preseason. Yeah, absolutely. Get a little closer to the field there. Absolutely. That kid used his forearm to f- get the ball forward there, but I guess. Can't throw with the ball away. If you can. It's a nice ball from Jevin to Blake. But Blake sees uh, Biebs going up the, fr- up the middle there. Gable Hart using his speed, man. He is fast. He definitely is. So who is playing in the defense then instead? Who do we have? Do we have? Uh, who is on the other wing? Is that probably Brandon Apple? Would be my guess. Apple, I believe. Is it six? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, eight is. That's a good question. Well, that's Cam Glass's yeah. six. So it's is he eight? Yeah, eight's no. out there. Uh, mm, where is he? Yeah. Apple is. F- yeah. Apple or Bapple, eight, yeah. as the boys like to call him. Bapple, huh? Bapple. Yeah, I yeah. suppose that works. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, kind of like the artist formerly known as Prince. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Little throw in, header to the goalie. Yeah, I forgot that rule about the suspension here. Goalkeeper with the ball, already is trying to set up the offense from the goalkeeper. Not a lot of talking out there from the Alderdice team. Hear a little bit more from the Peters Township bench. Something that really starts to happen at the high school level, isn't it, with the communication? Oh, yeah. They really kind of enforce it. That's something you got to do. It has to be. For all of us that have had kids, it's like we've had to tell some of them, look, oh, you yeah. got to open your yeah. mouth and start talking, right? Yeah, if you don't talk, Jevin hit it, hits it again. Little little double tap. Ball sitting kind of at midfield. Hasn't really been a very uh, flow, a g- good flow to the game yet. Just kind of mm. kicking the ball back and forth. Nothing real uh, sexy, I would say, as far as play so far. That's right. You get the feeling both teams are just trying to find their rhythm here. Yeah. Alderdice defending well. Avoiding the corner kick for a throw in. Bapple with the ball. Thanks for the pickup there. I didn't realize he was starting. That's got to be exciting for him. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Always love to get your first or, you know, start here for uh, varsity soccer. Exactly. Well, he got a decent amount of minutes over in the Cannon Mac game and he played well, did. I thought. Yeah. Yep, he definitely did. Alderdice with the uh, with the ball again coming out of their goal. Out to the uh, right left winger here on defense. Mr. Cohen. Adam stealing the ball from the midfield. A little bit no man's land there, Adam. Not sure where that was too. Great job, buddy. He takes yep. it off. And, and then he's, he's got, got Gable, Gable Hart. Hart. No, nope. nope. he's switching it to Apple maybe. Or we'll just go back to Sendro. Why not? Yep, sounds good. Reset. And here it comes. Nope, a little yeah. too far just to the goalie. Looked like something potentially dangerous there, but nothing really came to. I know the boys would like to get a couple goals early this game. Captain Obvious here, but well, this is the point in the season where, the, you know, the chemistry is still brewing. Maybe yep. it haven't quite come together. That one by Sandrowski, I thought that you know, Jevin could have pursued, but you know, he's seeing it from down there. So that's it. Jevin have any siblings? He does. He's got a sibling, Keaton, who will be playing after this. Okay. And what grade is he in? He's in ninth. Got um, it. And he's playing on the JV. And All right. What position Having is Keaton playing? Well, he switches between uh, striker and wing. Okay, so t- more up top. More up top. Yeah. yeah. Is, does Jevin prefer to be up top? Because he's played a little bit of everything in the limited time I've seen him. You know, I think if you asked him, probably striker or attacking mid would okay. be his two so choices. He, but I think he enjoys no matter where he's yeah, at. Yeah. So there. he's pretty happy. Yeah. You know, with his positioning at least this year so far. Now, what about Adam? Adam has two siblings. They're both older. He's got a sister that just graduated college, and then he's got a brother who graduated Peters two years ago who's oh, okay. uh, in college, a, a sophomore. He played hockey. Uh-huh. So not another not another soccer oh, here guy. Here we go. Little and attempt here by Biebs. A little wide. Just wide. Just a bit wow. outside, Biebs. Come on, buddy. <laughs> he had him. He juked the goalie. 
All the right moves, just didn't put it in. Uh, it's coming. Yeah, but nice play, nice, nice passing there for the Peters Township Indians. That was beautiful work. Little goal kick coming up here. <laughs> What's Adam playing? The six right now? He, Adam is playing the six. That is correct. Okay. He he's he's really a defensive-minded player. Yeah. Um, he plays for his cup basically all back line. Okay. Um, the six is definitely not his home. Okay. But it is his home because <laughs> that's what the coach says. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Well, uh, it's a great position. I always love that position for yes. being able to be defensive, but get in yes. the mix too. And yeah, you know, it's it works for. for him. It works for him defensively because he really does think defense. Yeah, he's not. He just doesn't have that mind. Although he scored in Bethel, which uh, I think was the first time we determined in about eight years he scored. Is that right? Because all he does is play defense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, good for so him. that was a pretty exciting to put one in. Absolutely, yeah. that's great. We all had a good smile at the Smiga House. <laughs> It's out for a throw in Peters Township. Absolutely. Not a lot of activity from the coaches today. Sitting down, relax, maybe just letting the boys find it, like you said, trying to gel together here. Find their positioning. Apple with the throw and Froelich on the ball. Yep. He is a pleasure to watch there. He split some defenders the other night. That was a, oh my in goodness. the corner there. That was, a, that was pretty exciting to see there. He's uh he does some really nice footwork with that ball. Cable Hart with the ball again, oh, trying to keep it in bounds. Here yep. we go. So coming up wide up the right side, taken by the defender nicely. Nice play by the Alder Dice defense. Yeah. And then up top there, Sandrovsky pu pushing up a little bit. I do find that call interesting. We will take it, but that certainly looked like uh, Sandra with the push, but he gets uh, the call. Going to have to agree, but yeah. let's take it. And Jevin with, no, that was Froelich. That was Froelich. With the, yep, Froelich with the header. It's the hair that gets me. Yeah, they that's fair. They both have the same hair and the number nine on their jersey. Yep. So. Froelich has the uh, the yellow band, the yellow if that band, helps at all. The captain's band, yep. so But go. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. And this Alderdice team playing some good defense here for sure. Yeah, I didn't look. I sometimes do. I wonder who they played on Tuesday. You know, mm. sometimes uh, it's curious to see that their scores ahead of time and That's whatnot. Right. All right, we got uh, for the first time this season, um, we have uh, Brett Martin coming in for Adam Smiga. Brett's been injured. Uh, number 10. Although it looks like we'll have to see what he's doing positionally. He's moving well. What was his injury? Do you remember? Uh, I do not. It um, was, a, it was I think, a hamstring-style injury, but yeah. I don't remember. Been a bit of that going around. Yeah. Um, cut off by Cam Glass. Have to figure out. Looks yeah. like looks like he does have Martin up on a wing, so we'll have to see who he pulled back to midfield um, to to fill that in. Right. We have Pusateri, Froelich, and I don't know if it's Jevin in the midfield right now or not. I'm having a hard looks time. Like he's playing back a little bit, but yeah, we'll have to. Everything's shifting a yeah, bit here. Yeah, a little bit of a shift. Balls at about Froelich midfield here right now. Froelich with it, looking for some uh, passes over to to uh, Jevin. Jevin outside, outside to Brett. To Brett at the top of the box, oh, the centering it. Oh, just kicked away. A little bit of sustained pressure here from Peters. Got him kind of boxed in here. Jevin with the ball over to Froelich in the center at about the 30. Tried to get it through to Biebs there. Bapple on the opposite side. Out of bounds for a throw in. Froelich sitting in the corner. Peters definitely has Alderdice on its heels right now. Yeah, he, there's that double split he tried again. Oh, now ball over go. to Beebs. Here's a ripper. Short side. Good save by the goalie. Good save by the goalie. No one quite in position to nope. follow that one up. Nope. Yeah, you get the feeling Peters is 
they're they're ready for one here, aren't they? Yeah, they look like they were. Uh, they're put. They're definitely with the sustained pressure so far here. Yeah. sure what the call was there but yeah a little, little, little soft a there not sure who's kicking it either i can't see that far can you uh that might be nice ball nice ball here we go somebody oh how did that not go in oh well, he called off sides or a, a penalty okay. against someone against the goalie so it wouldn't have counted so uh, okay and that's oh, that Sandrowski on the other side so he i don't that's know if he's right. rotating players around but He's got Sandruski on the left wing now. Uh, is Martin actually playing back? I on have wing? no idea. <laughs> Maybe Martin is playing right. Let's back. go down to our sideline reporter to get a sense yeah. of who's playing where. Do we, do you where is our sideline reporter? Yeah, I'm by not the sure. Way. We'll have to look for one. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these portable remotes to go down and yeah. do some crowd interviews. And I think you're onto something there. Yeah, I'm not sure of the defensive structure. I don't know if he's just playing with three right now. Martin might be back, but he was up awfully high. Well, you get Caden Hensler and Cam Glass back there. They do yep. really well together. They've they played do. together a long time. And they, they give me a lot of confidence back in that yep. defense there. Yep. We haven't had a lot of pressure. We had that one little one little move early there, but for the most part, the ball has been on Peter Township's positive side. Yep. Although here they come. Uh, with that said, here comes number 11 down the side there with Sendro uh, chasing him. Looks like that ultimate that wound up in a corner. So nice play by uh, by Pierre Cosby. Almost like a French Crosby. That's right. Yeah. <coughs> First corner of the game for Alderdice. Peters in the box, a lot of Alderdice people above the 18, not covered. So interesting defensive format here is we, we don't really have people on a particular person. Ball got over Marcus. Ah. And there you have it, just like that. Just like that. Well, that ball was it's hard to tell. It looked like it was heading in and one of our players put a head on it. I and think it was one of theirs. You thought one of ours? I, I thought I saw one of ours get a head on it right yeah. as it was heading that way. But in any case, I think yeah. it was heading towards the goal. It was, uh, yeah, it was an interesting defensive format on yeah. that. We weren't covering anybody, staying in the box, and it uh, looks like it cost us dearly. Looks like it. I'm not sure who scored. You sc you, do you know who scored there? No. Gentlemen, who scored? What number? Number nine. Thank you. All right. Peter Mirenthopoulos is with the goal. Good uh, job on that name. Peter Mirenthopoulos, number nine. Goal score for the Dragons by number nine, Peter Mirenthopoulos. Thank you. So Alder Dice strikes first. Definitely has to get Peters Township's attention here. That's right. We better answer here, huh? Yeah. Well, a lot of soccer's on those set plays, right? Absolutely. The game goes on, and free kicks and set plays tend to be the difference in a lot of games. And there it was, first corner. A lot of teams live and die by those set plays. Yeah, yeah. makes a you difference. You can put pressure on them all day long, but, you know, don't give them a set play. That's kind of what got us with the can and Matt game, mm -hmm. by the way. Yep. Peters does look a little stunned out there. They're not talking very much. We'll see if the crowd can maybe do the wave over there, get yeah. them rolling. Yeah, it looks like the crowd's starting to pick up just slightly. Yeah, we got 18 people. Nice. <laughs> Almost filled a soccer team up there. Yeah, there you go. Ball I think half of them are a soccer team for the JV You might there. be right. Ball into Froelich. Oh. Did get the call there. Let's follow the ground. This is a nice place for a free kick. We'll see what Peters can do with this, if they can even it up on on free kicks and corners and set plays. Right at the 20. It's a real good opportunity here. I know they work hard on these. <laughs> so let's see what they offer. Sendra on the ball, is it? I believe so, yes. 
Good ball in. Oh, oh looked very close. No one can get ahead on that one. It was close. Just a bit high and wide there. A little dangerous. Brett Martin was in with the goalie. Frolic was there too. I, I thought maybe he was going to mm -hmm. get high enough for that one, but I think it was about a foot over his head there. Resulted in a goal kick, though, ultimately. Yep. Kelly with the header, passed on. And I'm pretty sure I can confirm that Brett had a hamstring injury as I do see some K tape on the back of his leg there. Mm. So that's kind of a giveaway, that's wouldn't an you say? Isn't it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. A little bit of an indication of what was going on there. Number three, Jack Cohen with the throw in here. And playing some kickball in the air here. Yep, sitting in midfield, just bouncing the ball back and forth. Really need Peters to find some flow here. I'm telling you, I think they're pretty stunned. I don't think they thought that they'd be down a goal here, but mm. so much time left with 18 minutes That's right. in the first half. Could have another sub coming in. I believe that's Matt Pollock for Bapple. And we'll see if we're switching any positions or whatnot. He's heading all the way over I think this he's playing side. right wing. Yeah. Yep. If he's playing right wing, then we definitely have Sandrowski on the left. And then there's our defensive line with Caden and Cam in the middle. Gable Hart fighting for the ball. A little bit of push in the back very subtly. Got Alex off that ball. Played well by the Alderdice defensive line. <coughs> Feels like Peters just needs to calm it down a little bit, start connecting their passes, you know? Yeah, just not a lot of flow to the game. Yeah. Froelich trying to take it in his own hands there, but out of bounds. Out of bounds. Once again, the game's mainly in the Alderdice side. Ball's been staying down out there a lot. Not enough communication going between Peters. Nope, almost had two gentlemen run into each other there. Charlie and Pusateri need to yeah. talk to each other here. Are we Jevin with the ball? That's a trip. All right, we got a free kick coming up here. Nice play by, by Jevin there to get that free kick. Sitting at about, oh, I'd say what, about the 25 there? Maybe yeah. 30. See if they can capitalize yeah. on something here. We got Sandrowski and Froelich sitting over the ball. I did learn that all the uh, arm raising and things like that before the kick do have meaning. Left right? arm, right arm, both arms and fingers up do mean things so the boys know if it's going on the where where it's headed to. Gotcha. So I'll tell one, you what, I'm going to quiz you later in the show. I'm not going to. What gonna, all the meetings are. I would never give them up even if I remember. Well, of course. Yes, but Good nonetheless, answer. yes. <laughs> nonetheless, I do know that um, they do practice all the kind of signaling as to where the ball's going and should be winding up there. Right. That ball was kicked by Froelich, kind of to the goalie there. I don't know if he thought the goalie's going to make a move, but. Number eight is working pretty working hard. hard and then goes yeah. down and draws the foul. Oh, that's, and it goes to Peters Township. Yeah, that's an interesting. Another interesting call. Interesting call there by the ref. Even for these biased announcers, that's a that's well, a hard you, one to quite understand. There, you see someone working that hard, it's you know. You typically give them the call, and didn't seem like he did anything to warrant getting a call against him. But nonetheless, ball in. Beebs missed it over to Furlick's head. It in. Off the chest of uh, Paris, right at about the 18. Uh, Gable Hart's got it in the corner, looking to center it. Ball's got a funny spin on it. May or may not spin, stay in, and no, it does not. Alderdice's ball. Alderdice with a couple subs here, subbing out three players right now. Oh, 
push off the back of Sandrowski there. Sandrowski gets the ball at about midfield for the free kick. Bit of pushing and shoving out there, as you bit. would expect. Yep. That is high school soccer. It's just more a matter of whether they call it or not. Yep. Sandra with the ball into the middle. Not bad. Ni yep. Nice, nice header by Froelich. Nice save by the goalie. Going in the left bottom corner there, but goalie was quicker to it. Yeah. That was good stuff, though. I like the way Froelich directed that right towards the Very nice play. lower left corner there. Martin on the ball, up to Paris. Got 13 minutes left in the first half. Not a lot of excitement. You'd have to think if this is how the first half ends that the uh, halftime conversation may not be so incredible on the Peters Township sidelines there. Very true. Yeah, and deservedly so. They really haven't played very well. No. Well, they just haven't been gelling. They haven't really been bringing it down. There's been a lot of up in the air kind of stuff going on. Yep. Ball in play off of Kelly's leg there. Got to make a, got to make one of these free kicks count. Make it dangerous. Well, there's been a lot of set pieces so yep. far, and looks like they're letting Sandro take a lot of these set pieces. Yep. Is it about the 30 once again? Entire Peters team is on the far post. Two hands up, kind of in the center there. Oh. Beams with the rebound. There it is. There it is. Or no, is that Jevin? That, that was, was Jevin. Jevin. Jevin with the Jevin. score there. Lower there left go. corner. Off a rebound there. Put in the middle. 19. Jevin. Jevin Kelly. Jevin Kelly. So it's even again. Goal by number 19, Jevin Kelly. You're welcome. Well, All right. <laughs> You're super exciting. Certainly what they needed there. Yep. So we got the 1-1 tie now going. Nice ball by Jevin off a rebound. Sendro sent it into the box. Hit an Alderdice player kind of in the chest. Ball wound up on Jevin Kelly's foot, and he buried it. You run, run, run the clock. clock. Oh. You know, Little clock management issues there, but we're good. Well, we're good was, in the we box here. We needed some here. stoppage time there. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Just man. some early stoppage time is all that it is. It happens. <laughs> Thank you for picking that up. Yeah. We'll get by with a little help from our friends. That's won't it. We? After the goal, um, Bobby Dyer, Coach Dyer, made some positional changes. Didn't change the team out on the field, but did move people around a little bit. Um, we'll have to see what that is here. I believe he put Pollock in defense, and I think he put Cam in the midfield, but we'll see if that sorts out correctly. I heard a couple different positional changes, and then Coach Dyer screaming, sort it out. Froelich with the ball up to Gablehart, headed off by the Alderdice defender. Seems like they're starting to move the ball yep. just a little bit better here. I would agree. I would agree. I hesitate to say anything because last time we started talking no, that way, good. the other team scored. But it's all good. Uh, we're going to get a drawn penalty there by Alderdice. You don't mind that penalty there? No. In their defensive end, 80, 80 plus from the, the goalie. We'll take that one. That's right. All Gives day. us time to reset. Yep. So once again, Kusateri. I think the new lineup on the defense, I believe we have Sendro, Pollock, um, uh, Kaden and uh, uh, Sender switched. Uh, Brett Martin on defense. Brett Martin, yes. Yep, he's the other one there. In the midfield, then I believe we have Cam, Jevin, and and Froelich. Oh no, we have Cam, Jevin, and Pusateri. And up top, I believe we have Gablehart, Biebs, and uh, well, not sure who's running up the left wing there, but Jevin and Jevin. Is Jevin in the middle or I think up he's up top. top. It's yeah. kind of hard to know yeah. right now. But same players in there, though. Okay, Gablehart and uh, Paris now switching sides. Yep. Yeah. 
Peters finally after that goal. Seems like they're playing soccer now. Yeah, it seems like, like they woke up a little bit here, doesn't it? <laughs> before it looked like we were just kicking the ball around, having a little bit of fun, but now it looks like we might be playing some soccer. Sure. So we do have a Paris and Gablehart switch here. Paris is running the right wing. Pusateri with the throw in. And it looks like Martin has moved up to the striker position. Is that right? That might be correct. That might be correct. We definitely are doing some rotational uh, confusion, and Coach Dyer is not sending it up to the booth, and our spotters aren't picking it up for us. So That's we're just, right. We're just uh -huh. winging this on our own. Hey. You know? I, th I think we're doing all right here. But I can tell you that there's 11 red and 11 white out there. <laughs> That's important. Better than 10 and 11. Yes, much better. Mm. Pusateri. Pusateri with a nice play over to Out Alex. To Alex is Let's centering it in there. Oh. Right into the defensive. Well, that's going to uh, just a throw in. Just a throw. Looking for that corner, but not quite. Not quite. Sandrowski with the throw in. His arms might be tired from the other game, too. <laughs> he sure he might, might have yeah. set a record for most throw ins ever in a soccer game I've seen. Well, and from here, he gets it all the way into the box, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, he does. So. I think it's with intentionality. Ball on the foot of Froelich, cleared by the Alderdice defense. Pusateri taking the ball away from the offensive player of Alderdice. Uh, potentially, a situation. potentially a little breakout here. Looks like we have him contained. Two players back. Peters has some numbers, which is good. Gonna sitting in the corner here. Alderdice looking to try and draw a corner out of that, but nothing doing. Pollock with some good defense yep. to get back quickly. On the top corner of the box there. Pollock is very fast, does have some speed, he good closing sure speed. And Hensler gets that ball yep. away. Alderdice with a little bit of sustained pressure here. Looks like Cam's got the ball here. Trying to get it out of that uh, dangerous position there. Peters is calming it down over to Pusateri on the back line. Up All to there. Paris. One more maybe to Gablehart. Is that Gamble Hard over? No. I that got my. Martin that was Martin. There. Yep. That was Martin with the ball trying to get over to Priest. We need to get some haircut changes. Uh, yeah. Or maybe been, dye their hair because they all look the same. I've basically been telling them that for yeah. a year now and yeah. it just doesn't seem to yeah. change. Like us, we would be fine. We would yeah. be absolutely fine. Yeah. I got some, I got a lot of salt in my hair. Yeah. Ben's, I've got a lot of. Uh, yeah. Ben's hair is a little tanner. A little bit of sun. A little, a little, little, little sun worn. challenge. Yeah. So we could be. You know, seen apart on the field there. That's right. Plus, we're probably both slow enough that they'd be able to get our numbers. Right. All and right. Nice play by Jevin there. Sending a wide to Pusateri. That's a nice play into the corner, and a nice save by the by the Alderdice goalie Peters as we had uh, Brett Martin breaking behind him. They're starting to show some cohesion now. They are. We're starting to look like we're playing some soccer here. About seven minutes left in the first half. Oh, you just don't want to let these guys back in nope. right before the half. Nope. And Marcus, that was a chance. Marcus knows his goal, but there was a shot made there. And we have, looks like Adam Smiga coming back in for Pusateri. I'm going to assume in the back wing here, but we'll have to ask him. I'll scream down to him. I don't think he'll mind. <laughs> Marcus kicks it up past midfield, and, and it's out for an Alderdice yep. throw. Jevin with the ball here. Number nine definitely was a goal scorer. He looks like he's got found a little bit of excitement in his legs here. Right. Martin with the ball coming up the right wing. Um, defended by about two or three dice players. And gets, gets it to the corner. All of them. Centers it. Look centers it twice. Oh. Tries to wind it up there. Paris with yeah. the back coming around. Looked like he tried to get the volley going, but just to no avail. Peters coming back. Dice with some open field. Number 19. Um, coming and up the Cam middle, Blast but Cam just off. shut it down over to Froelich. Froelich in the midfield over to Jevin, sitting at the PT logo. Back to uh, back to Froelich here. Maybe one more to Gablehart. 
Yep. There's Gable Hart. All right, we got a couple guys heading towards the box here. Looks like uh, some dangerous play oh. by Peters. Oh, very close there. Cam had an opportunity, but the dice goalie was there and, and could sense it. Uh, it was could just play. sense it. Very good play by their goalie. What is their goalie's name? Are you? Let's give him a little love. He's been yeah, that's a good goalkeeper. Point. There is Ozan Matviev. Apologize if I'm not saying it correctly there, but very nice goalkeeping there. Well, I need to apologize to all the Alder Dice players. Every time I look down at my cheat sheet here to find their number to their name, I, by yeah. the time I look back up, the ball has gone somewhere else <laughs> completely. So that's okay. That's okay. We'll get you eventually. Yeah. As you and I build our fan base, we'll have to, you know, we'll have to maybe send some letters out and apologize Absolutely. to them. Absolutely. I mean, it's going to be big stuff here, but you can tell. But for the seven people that are watching this video, we <laughs> apologize. <laughs> Substitution in for, uh, looks like both, uh, well, Alderdice got one in. Peters is about to put in a player here. Two. We got two players coming in uh, with about four minutes Woodward left. And I don't, I'm not there. sure. I can't quite see the number. I cannot from either. Another kid with the same haircut. That's the problem. <coughs> Ball kind of just bouncing around the middle of the field right now again. See, see who might be coming in if he allows the refs not going to allow him on the dice throw to come into the game. But yeah. Over to Froelich. We got Martin Brett on the ball. Brett on the ball there, trying to set it up the wing. Nice play Not to Gable bad. Hart. Streak it up the side. And he tries to cross it in the middle, but only white jerseys there. Yeah, a lot of white jerseys. But out for a Peter throw. I can't see who. And try and get a number here when he comes in here. That might be, is that Dean? And how do you say yes, his last name? Is, is it Kata or, Ch or, Ka or do you know how to say it? I believe it's Kata, but you know. Okay. I apologize. If if it's how about not. you ladies? Anna and Hannah, do you know his name? Is it Kata? Kata? Well, we think it's Kata. Yeah. Well, Dean, Dean Kata is in the game. 24. Here. Number one in your hearts, number 24 in your program. <laughs> There I always loved that number 24. I think that was my number back in the All day. Right. Way, way, way long ago. You just wanted to be one more than the great Michael Jordan? Uh, yes. I understand. That's it. Yep. <laughs> Other guy saw on the move here. Three on three. We got the Alderdice coming up the side here. Looks like uh, Woodward defending. Got to be careful yes. getting in the box there. Some nice play by the Alderdice players. I but. think he thought he had a player behind and let it go through his legs intentionally. Adam just clearing it out. I'm not sure where to. Alderdice with the ball setting up their offense. And Woodward kicks it out. Yep, Woodward with a little bit of run from his position there. A minute and a half left in the first half. Really like to see a little late goal here by the team. Would be nice. Working hard. It better get back, though. And it looks like that's uh, he's offside. Oh, Ref's got the he's whistle definitely up. Definitely off. A little bit of a late. That is offside. That was an absolute yep. right call there. I would agree with that one. That being said, it was a beautiful pass yep. by number 11 on Had a dice. yard on him. Did have a yard on him. So, mm. always hate when the refs wait a little long. He gets uh, real close to the goalie there. Yeah. Like, make that call. Yep. Don't need the goalie getting run over. But right. he finally pulled up the whistle there. Ball out to Alex's foot. And calls Hand him ball. for the high. I think he called for a handball. Did he call for a hand? I think so. I thought maybe it was the high kick. I think you can make that kick unless there's players around you. Okay. I could be wrong, Ben. Uh, hey. But I'm pretty sure you're allowed to do that. Good defense there. A little bit of ball sitting at the logo again once. 
All right, so let's see if we get a little last second push with 20 seconds left. Yeah. A little bit of a misfire there. Ball back to Cam Apple. Alex working in the corner there. Back to uh, Woodward. They got eight seconds. You got to count it out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're at the half. All right, welcome back to the second half here of Peters Township versus Alderdice. It's 1-1. One, one. Obviously, the field is flipped. We got the sun coming now in the Peters Township goalie's eyes, I believe, for the second half. So maybe a little bit harder for him to see. Um, Alderdice goalie seemed to handle that pretty well in the first half. We'll see if that's an issue. Um, did we get a reporter down to talk to the coach at the half to see you what know, the uh, I coach's think we comments did. were? I mean, and basically, it looks like Pusateri, if I'm not mistaken, is up at Stryker right now. Uh, he normally runs everybody up at the first part there. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, huh? he normally he normally puts them all up on the line there to to make a run, especially if we have the ball at first there. Do we have a name for that play where they just kick it up and? you know have three or four guys trying to go get it run fast run fast yeah Is run fast that? run okay. fast get ball yep okay yep. Th that's what i would call it gb i think right for short right exactly yep all right so goal kick as we start the second half here uh Froelich with the ball up at about the uh 40 yard line here looking for some help here yeah Cam gave him the help. Froelich kept the ball back to his center uh, defense there. Up to Brett Martin starting the second half here, it looks like, at the midfield. Alderdice all yep. over these guys. Yep. Looks like that was on Brett there. Yep. And uh, we're going to have Alderdice with a free kick on their side of, of the center here. We did some investigative reporting at half. It did confirm that Mr. Salvich does have to sit out for a game for the red card. Um, it is just one game because it was the two yellows. There is potential for multiple game suspensions depending on the severity of the infraction. But we do appreciate the uh, the diligence of the uh, of the of the team here to locate that. That's right. <laughs> at halftime for us. So. And nothing malicious the other night, so nope. don't anticipate anything. No, definitely not. No, nope, that, that was just a little bit unlucky. Just two two opportunities to for some trips, and unfortunately, they happened. Yep. What are you going to do? So, Marcus with the ball, asking his players to get up and in. Timeout. Hit this stop there. Yeah. Not sure, but not sure what he's pulling. Maybe blood. We got Brett Martin coming out. <coughs> Looks like Adams coming in. I'm not real sure what the uh, Brett has is coming back. First game back from an injury, so we'll have to see if uh, if it's injury related or if it's a bloody nose. Yeah, a little bit of bloody he's nose. He's holding his nose a little bit. Yeah, like him to be a little tougher than that and not get bloody noses during these games. You know, <laughs> you know, should be able to take that off the face. There. Oh man. Yeah, we'll talk to Brett about that. So, Cam Glass draws the foul. Yeah, was held up there a bit. So we got a little bit of a free kick here. Sandrowski just took an extra five yards. We'll see if the ref allows it. <laughs> nope. Yep. Nice try. Almost. That was good though. You know, a little cheeky move there. Messi even does oh, that. Absolutely. So, you gotta you know, do that. Welcome to soccer, right? Sandro with the yep. kick. Right down the middle. A handball. Yeah, handball. That's a handball. That's a handball there, sir. Yep. He did not call it. He did not. Staring right at it. Staring right at it. Now, I know if the hand is in natural position, they don't call those now. They used to. Right. So he may have deemed that natural position. Hard with soccer rules because they are a little different between whip eel and cup soccer. Right. But I do know that is a cup soccer rule um, if it's natural positioning. You agree with that, Van? I uh, yeah, I agree with that call. Then in that case, I don't think that he was trying to stop the ball. His his arm was definitely out away from his body, though. Yes. Froelich with the hit, a oh. little bit of a volley, bouncing ball, just high. Not too shabby. A little bit high there. A little bit high. He so it's coming. Though. That's right. A little bit of sustained pressure by Peters here. Would like to see an early goal. Once again, I know that's kind of obvious, but here we go. Well. It would allow you to start maybe putting this game away early if you could get one and then another quick one. But again, obvious. So ball up at the uh, to Cam here. 
in the middle in the middle here out on the right side Alderdice is definitely on its back foot right now. Sendra with a half bicycle kick, but did clear it out to the middle of the field. Cam with a bit of a push, does get called for it. Good play by Alderdice to go down with that. Felt the hands, drop down. Yep. Smart play. <clears throat> I know the crowd's increased by at least one Ven at halftime. My wife has showed up. So oh, good. We'll, we'll say some props to her for very coming to the game. people are yeah, showing up. Yep. Yeah, yeah. She, I don't know if she came to listen or watch Adam play or listen to us, but we'll, we'll, I'll let you know later. <laughs> Peters with the ball coming up the midfield, has some numbers on the left-hand side. Cam tries to feed the ball through. Defended well by the Alderdice team. And Adam in a little bit of a running match there with the uh, midfielder. Right back to the goalie. Say hey, Alderdice's defense is doing well. Yep. As Peters is getting some good opportunities, some good looks. Ball's bouncing over. Looks like most people's heads there. Ref decides to let it go. Pollock over the back there, and uh, no call. They they don't tend to call a lot over the backs. I think we do utilize that to our advantage. Climbing the ladder, Ooh, so to speak. Sandro to Kelly. Yep. Up the left-hand side here in the corner. Very nice move by Jevin here to bring it back to the mid. Good, uh, good defensive play by number 15 on Alder Dice to stop that potential scoring opportunity. Lot of opportunity here. Adam running back to get that ball off that Alder Dice's player's foot. Switch with Adam Sandrowski right now. The two Adams playing the same side. That shouldn't be too confusing. Right. Yeah. Alderdice with the ball in the middle. And a big shot. Yep. Nope. High. Well defended. Nice play by Alderdice, though, working well, it up the field. I think that might be one of their only sh shots on goal. I don't other believe than that, their, you know, corner kick. I don't believe that counts as a shot. No, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if the goaltender doesn't touch it, right? And if yeah. it doesn't hit the... Well, true, true. Yeah, I don't believe that's a shot. Okay. I could be wrong once again. We got Beebs going back here. Goal... Uh, Alderdice decides just to send it out of bounds there. Got Froelich with the ball, sitting up about the 20, over to uh, Pusateri. Dante Pusateri, sending it in. A little bit of a high header there by Alex. Alex desperately wants a goal. Had an assist that night at Cannon Mac. Oh, but, you uh, know it's coming. You can't hold him down for yeah, long. My man is desperate for a goal. <laughs> I'm going to get pretty angry pretty soon if he doesn't bury one. <laughs> but that's just a good competitive spirit. Then you'll see the real beads, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, you <laughs> see it. You see it. So Peter's definitely starting to have Alderdice pinned back in their zone here. Like to be rewarded for it. Adam switching the field over to Gable Hart, to Cam, coming up the right hand side. Right idea, moving it out to the other side. Just went out of bounds there. Blake just knocking it out of bounds there. Sitting at about midfield here. Ball over to Caden. Caden sends it up with the header. Cam, definitely active in the midfield. Looks very comfortable there in the midfield. Cam's Seem been everywhere today. Yeah, with the new position. Over to Froelich, up the middle. We got Dante making a run. Up in the middle here for Alex. Alex to Jevin. Oh. Jevin tried to feed it back to Paris. Got the ball moving oh. in. Nice defense there. Kelly got a little lucky. Tried to feed it to Paris, but not sure wasn't quite on. Not it. sure what he called there. Wow, for the for the block? I'm not sure. I can't. I'm not sure what's happening here. We're waiting for the refs' interpretation. They called a PK. I am not sure. Yeah. No idea. Froelich with the ball. Certainly nothing obvious there, so. Does the clock start on a penalty kick? I guess when he blows it in. Refs are talking. I'm not sure what the play is here. I'll have 
have to go down to our yeah. sideline yeah. guy and get yeah. the report here. Yeah. Because I don't think any of us up here in the box saw anything blatant. No. No, I can't say that I did. Autodice coach wants an explanation on what's going on. Refs with the typical arms in the air going, I don't know. Uh -huh. Yep. The important thing here is if we are awarded the penalty kick is put it on net. Yes. Yep. 100% of shots that aren't on net do not go in. That's right. Yep. <coughs> I've been told Froelich has one of the best feet. And here we go. Another oh, save. Follow it up. Follow it. <laughs> okay. Save. Another penalty kick save. Always fires up a team. Well, that's going to put a little wind in the sails of this all the best Absolutely. team here. Absolutely. And Peter's 0 for 2 in PKs this year. Not the record you want. No, that's uh, not something you want to see. Probably, you know, a little bit of karma there where I don't think even Peter's players felt that they probably it, earned that PK. You didn't get the feeling they knew why yeah. that was happening. You got to be concerned that they may get one back later on. Peter's players have to be careful in their box because that was a very confusing call. And Sandra they did not take nice advantage. Footwork. Jevin with the ball in the middle, over to Froelich, between the legs. Oh. Ball bouncing around. Adam with the ball, looking for uh, an outlet. Sent it up to Froelich. Froelich over to the side there. I'm not sure who that is on the side there. Got some wheels. That's Gable Hart just by the run. Oh, Gable Hart's going in. Look at this. Someone got Dante to put with that the ball. In. Oh. <laughs> Dante uh, with the field goal. With the field goal. Dante got so excited there. You he, knew he just wanted to yeah. punch that in. Let's go, boys. Looks like a little bit of excitement in the feet. Yeah. It's interesting. I did you see the penalty kick the other night? I did. Yep. So I think Gable Hart had a little bit too much juice in his foot, too much excitement. Well, you know, you get that Cannon Mac cowbell a going. Absolutely. It's got to get in your brain. It a little does. Bit, yeah. It? No. No. That, and I believe it. I'm not a. I'm not <laughs> commenting on him at all in that shot because I would probably do the same thing. But my comment is, is that uh, look like Froelich eased that one in after y that. Yes. So I think that might have played in Froelich's mind that he there really just go. tried to steer it in instead of, you know doing his normal thing there right uh, you know we sizzled one and and kind of touched one well either of those guys you give them 10 opportunities they're going to get nine of them in there hard to argue that yeah. so keep it going boys much easier from the box what do you say yeah. <laughs> that's everything is isn't it <laughs> that is but that's our job folks you know we just have to sit here and announce what we see oh, so guys trying to put a little uh yeah back to the together game here but peter shuts it down quick Yep, back to the game here. So they're a little fired up on the dice bench, definitely talking more after the PK miss. Yeah. Well, sometimes that's the what it spark takes. you need. That's right. All right, Pusateri's coming out, and we have uh, Bapple. Bapple coming in. Bapple. Yep. See what happens here. About 29 minutes left in the second half. Froelich with the header, trying to send it up. Handball. Yeah, yep. Little handball by the Beebs there. Pollock with the header. We got him, punches it in for Alex. Yep. Good play. Yep. Alex ran him right into the, his own goaltender. Tender Goal was been, ready for that. He's, he's been steady. Oh, absolutely. He's been steady, and you got to think he has even more confidence after that save. Oh, yeah. Imagine what that does to a goaltender when <laughs> that, they save. Oh, that's so exciting. Like that. It has to be. Yep. Players don't know the call on that. I don't either. Both teams went back to their defensive areas thinking it was on them. And uh, turns out Peters has the ball again. Sitting on 10 yards past midfield on their side. Caden oh. with the ball there. Oh, that's a, yeah. Well, it's getting a little bit that, nasty out there. That, that could have earned a yellow there. That was a pretty nice uh, body check. It was, it was. Uh, but nothing. Walked away. Walked away. 
And that was a double whammy. It had the kickoff had uh, hit him. Yep. Square and what looked like the torso, he, and yeah. then he got he ran be, into. Looked to be short of the ten yards. We didn't it, ask for it. It did. But, uh, it did. Yeah, but he, you know, player was smart and uh, got the ball back for his team. Yeah. Got to give him credit for that. Right. Ball in a dangerous area for uh, for Alderdice right now. Very dangerous. Good block by get it Adam. Out of there, boys. Going down. Ball in the, the corner. corner there. Pollock, uh, number two, getting around Pollock there, trying to center it. Just puts a little too much on that. Yeah. He had something good going there. He did. He did. Had a little bit of little juice there. Number two for Alderdice. Mm -hmm. Made a move past the defender. All right. We got the ball back in Marcus's hands. We're going to get our offense hopefully up. Marcus is waiting for the team to reposition themselves in an offensive position. Ball up down the middle. Looks like Kevin to Jevin's head. Just a bit high for him. Ball over to bat or Cam. Send it up the side there Good to Alex. Glass. Alex looking for an outlet here. Coming over to Bapple. Bapple's looking to, to oh, play it wide. Uh -huh. Right idea, right idea. On to Gable Hart's foot. Gable Hart's going to take the shot here. Mm, Temp was made. Get around nope. the two defenders. Frolick with the ball. Got two defenders on him. This is where the Alderdice defense really shines. They just sort of, yep. you know, there's always two or three guys on yep. those guys. Probably need to make that extra pass there. Probably. Got a little too cheeky with it. Needed to make the play instead of uh, fiddling around in that spot. But still no harm. Peters has the ball. Bapple's got it coming up the left wing. Headed it over to Jaden. Jaden's bringing it into the box slowly. Got a defender on him, trying to get around him. Across Off the goaltender. In. Oh! And just a... Uh, Bapple just yep. kicks it a little bit over. Yep, Didn't just a really. little high. He's... Yeah, I think he did. Yellow for the, yellow for the coach. We got a coach yellow. Yep. No, I think with the... Was it for the coach or was it for his player? Okay. We believe it was a player getting a yellow. The ref was chasing him off the field. There were two players coming off, so one of them has to sit for five minutes. We'll have to see who that is. Go ahead. He blew it. Couple changes by Alderdice. All right. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he gave that. That's all right. Trying to watch him in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see what the yellow was for. We'll check the replay. I didn't either. See if our spotters pick that up later and let us know. Yeah. I got my guy on it. Yep. Tell you, be a good time to be a concession stand worker. Not a lot of action over there. Right. Not doing a lot of higher math. No. And you know, nice. you're in that nice shade. Yeah, a little shade in that area. Typically, JV parents run in the varsity concession stand and vice versa. So, thank you, JV parents, who are in there today, working it for this uh, for this game here. Ball in midfield. Looks like Marcus is going to take this one. He's called his players off. We're going to see ball coming up the middle over to Alex Paris. Paris takes it down with the foot, tries to get it over to uh, Gable Hart. To Gable Hart, back to Paris. Paris up the middle. Oh, beautiful let's go. play, beautiful play. Could Jevin finish oh. it? Jevin cannot. Oh. Anyone want to guess where he put it? <laughs> right through the crossbar. A little bar. bit high. A yeah. little bit high. He got the field goal. He was. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful Having ball. to delay just yeah. a little bit there. Yeah. He had a man on. Yeah. Uh, yep. He wants that one back. I know. Yeah, well, I'm sure he does. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be talking about that at home tonight. That's huh? right. Beautiful <laughs> pass by Paris, though, to, oh, to make that a, play possible. It was a great play all around. Yeah, that really was. That was very well set up. Um, ball cut up at the middle here. Pollock clears it over to Gablehart. Gablehart up the middle to Froelich. We got two runners. Froelich slowing it down. Trying to play with this defender. Still Gets by it. him. Probably He's needs to get, rid yep, of it, get it off point. the foot. Yep. Froelich with the team chasing him. Okay. And a trip. I do agree with that. That is Dice's ball. 
Oh, Bapple. did he call the trip? Okay. Bapple, yep. Yeah, Bapple caught him. Bapple caught him. So we got a free kick sitting at about the 17 here on the right side for a dice. Plays it short. Apple up there, defending. Nice. Good Balls stuff out by Braden Apple. Yep. He's looking good out there. Yep, looking confident. Absolutely. Braden with the ball for the throw in. Waiting for his players to get positioned. Just soft, toss, tosses it softly to Cam. Jevin with the ball up the side. Splits two defenders. Coming up on a third defender. Goalie with the ball. Goalie with the ball. Goalie throws it back out to his uh, right back. A lot of players back for Peters there watching that. Ball ba finds Bapple again to Cam. Seems like that's a team that likes to throw to, or play to each other there. Absolutely. Bapple to Cam. Once again, Bapple with the throw in. A lot of play up the left side of Peters Township team right now. Probably need to make a shift over to the right. A little bit of open territory over there. I'm sure the boys know that, though, and just sometimes get a little bit pinned in. Dice is bringing it over to the right for them. Nothing I agree. There. No call there. Went down. Felt a little touch. Settle the ball down there. That's a bit ticky-tacky. He called that for Peters, did he? Yes, he did. Wow. That's a bit ticky-tacky. I'd let those it boys is. play. I agree. I would let them play there. Sandrovsky at about the 40, maybe 38 here. Two arms in the air, waiting for his team to get set up. Lays it low for chipping. Oh, and there, there it is. is. And we got Martin. It looks like Martin. It looks from here like Martin. Yeah, that's a Martin. So bloody nose to goal. Bloody nose to goal. Very nicely Brett, done. Ma Brett Martin, yes. Goal scored by number 10. 10, Brett Martin. Right. Clock operator really finding his groove here in this yeah. game. Yeah. He was a late substitution, but late. not afraid, late. not afraid to play. You know, we, we just don't give him too much credit until he changes the home score to two. Yeah, but yeah, that's a that's a that's a party foul. There we, there go. we go. Now I'm now, giving him all, all right, the credit yeah. in the world. <laughs> He's willing to learn. Maybe we could have him put it to three and see what happens if oh, anyone notices. I you know, try that. We're on the older guys' <laughs> side. You know that. Yeah, right? Well, there's four parents. So <laughs> I feel pretty okay. I feel pretty okay. We are in this safe box. Yeah. yeah. So that's a very important goal for Peters is we really don't want to be in that tight of a game with Alder Dice. No. Oh, here they come. Yep. Dangerous play here. Nice pass on the right side of the box. Defense is there. Good nice save by save. Marcus. So they did have an opportunity. It was a nice shot, nice save by Marcus. Pollock is down on the ground. Yeah, we'll uh, see what happens yeah. if he's going to. Nope, not yet. Nope, he didn't ask for it to be stopped yet. Now you stop it. Yeah, he's definitely moving like a leg cramp. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, good opportunity off that cramp. Pollock went down, running with the player. Yeah. Uh, Might have just cramped up. Released the player. He came down on the from the right to the left. Took the shot and inside the box on the left hand side. But Marcus was in good position for the save. He's walking off the field. Does look like it's a cramp. Coming in for him is Dante Pusateri. We'll see what uh, positional changes, if any, there are. Well, if you're a Peters fan, which of course we are, you don't want to see Alder Dice answer that quickly. So that nope. was. Uh, it was a good save by Marcus. Good save by yep. Viziak there. Other teams playing too, so nice play by the dice, right? Absolutely. All right, Marcus with the ball. Clock is running. And sending it up the middle here, going over to Apple. Looks over both their heads. Apple was playing it that way, getting tugged back by the good. defender. No call by the uh, referee there, so dice got a freebie there. But ball's pinned in. Jevin's got the ball here in the corner, out of bounds. We'll see what they're calling here. Looks like a Peter's throw. Yeah, huh? Peter's throw into uh, Nathan. Froelich. To Fro. Fro is uh, over to a Apple and Apple to Jevin. Jevin's going to probably try and center it. 
as he should. There's a nice header. Jevin with the hit. Oh, oh. oh. Now that was some good yeah, stuff there. That was very nice. So Jevin with the hit, went off the goalie, bounced back into uh, Brett Martin's head. Brett tried to head it in, but went uh, over the top of the goal. That was but They all were definitely over. swarming here, folks. Yeah. yeah. We'd like to get that third goal in here soon. Alderdice staying deep in their zone on the right on the right defensive back. Jevin moving up, having a very active game. Maybe he's just very excited his dad's announcing today. I think that's really what it yeah, is. Yeah, I think he's fired up for that. Absolutely. I know he was excited for yeah. me. Caden with the left foot there, headed up to Froelich. It does appear that that's what they like to do. They like to run the offense through Froelich on the midfield. Froelich sending it up to the forwards. He's certainly strong at that position, <coughs> Froelich is. <clears throat> Sendro uh, on a run. Number 13, no one's covering the... Yep, we got that covered. And That's Caden a smart play. Kicks it right out of bounds. That's a smart play. Gives his team yeah. time to Looked recoup. Looked a little dangerous there. Yep. Everybody went with the runner. Had an Alderdice player running down the middle, but was not able to have enough attention to get the ball to him. Threw everybody's legs there. A little bit of a meg. We got Jevin up here. Nope, just going to be far. Yeah, the next goal here is all important, you know. Always, if Peters yeah. scores, they basically put it away. I would Alderdice agree. If scores, it just shifts everything, right? Yeah, a lot more tension on Peters. This is a game, I mean, I hate to say it, but Peters is kind of expected to win. Oh, yeah. If they want to go where they want to go. Nice move here um, by Gablehart around, but defender, defenseman came in, played it. We're going to have a substitution here by Peters. That looks like Logan Peters. No relation to the high school. Coming in for Adam Smiga. Logan, I believe one of the swing players also plays on the JV right now. That is correct. You are correct. No foul. Oh. We a little bit of a run by Alderdice. We have four Peters players back. Marcus has called them all off, says, I got that ball. Yeah. Chill out, boys. We're good. Peters got a little bit lucky with an errant pass by Alderdice there. They were, they right. were coming down. Admittedly, I was watching my son walk off the field there and seeing what was going on. So well, thank you for covering that me. Is absolutely. It's kind of like having a snack, you know, while uh, you're uh, commentating. I hear you. And that's a throw in for Peters' team here. Alderdice knows where oh, that there's a corner. There's a very smart play by uh, the Peters Township. Threw it into Froelich. Froelich kicked it off the back legs of the Alderdice player to obtain the corner. Brandon Apple's taking the kick. We'll see the play that Peters calls. We have most of them sitting inside the box. We got Gablehart sitting at the top of the box for the rebounds. Ball is in high. I don't know if it ever I went in, and you just hate to see that. It was that. over yep. the goal. We hate to see that. Yeah. Got to put it in play to have a chance. Yeah, that's right. But he'll learn from that. He's playing a great game. He's young. And that's how you get your reps. Absolutely. That's how you get your reps. Every one of these guys has been out there and done similar things. You mm -hmm. know? Absolutely. No one's more annoyed than he is, probably. <laughs> Logan with the defense here, working up the midfield. Gablehart stealing the ball, coming up the right-hand side hard and quick, looking for someone to cross yeah. it to, obtaining a corner. There's another Very corner. Very excited. So let's see what happens on this corner kick yeah, and who's Apple's taking gonna it. Apple's going to take it again, I think. Typically they do. They keep the same player taking all the corners. And that's what you want. You yep. know, he's not going to make that mistake again. Yep. And, you know, you want to get him right back on the horse. Looks like a similar setup. Most of the Peters Township players in the box. Gablehart sitting up top for any rebounds. Ball coming in, lofts it up high and deep in the box down to, well, the Alderdice player took it. Looked like Pusateri was coming in late for it, but not, da not a dangerous corner there from Peters. 
putting it back in the box there. Very nice save by the goaltender. If he misses that, Jevin has a free <laughs> run. There was pressure on him for there sure. There definitely was. Ball bouncing around a little. Yeah. Calling that for Peters. Yeah, I think that's a play on. He dove up I, in the air. I mean, I they could have at least played advantage there because Peters still maintained possession yeah. of that ball. Yeah, I think that's a play on. But ref likes the whistle. Oh, a lot of refs do. They do. <laughs> they do. <clears throat> a couple Peter kids getting ready to come in. Who do we got over there this time? I believe it's Pollock. He's still stretching out, so interesting. Okay. And that might be Kata again coming in it does look like him doesn't it so Paula coming in Kata coming in up top in for Jevin Pollock working the back line Throw in by Sandrowski. Brett Martin with a off the chest to Froelich. Froelich back to Martin. Martin with the ball, centering it up. Well defended by Alderdice. Logan Peters with the ball over back to Brett. Brett playing with it in the corner there, defended by two Alderdice players. Uh, Logan Peters chipping it back over to Pusateri and. Ball winds up on oh. Froelich's foot with a little Maradona, and he's going to shoot it. Yep. Oh. Off of Maradona, you almost always shoot it, right? You, you, when you got don't see, to. And that's, you know. you got to take that shot. You yep. Know? Yep. Hard to argue that. Absolutely. You got a shot, you take it. Especially after a move like that. Because if you make that, it's beautiful. think of the highlight reel. Oh, it's a highlight reel wall. <laughs> There's no question. Froelich looks like he's starting to find his legging here, legs there. there. I think Alderdice definitely knows he's a player to watch. Yes. Always has a couple people on him. Froelich back with the ball. That is not a. That That's is not. That's nothing a, there. Yep, I'm surprised nothing he blew there. that. Yep. You got to let them touch each other, but we've gotten a lot of those calls favorably. So. Well, I mean, Froelich is just going for the ball. He's yeah. not, you know. Yep. Nope. That's a non-call. But yeah. there you go. And if you're going to get that, we'll take it on their uh, side of the field. Absolutely. Here we Ball go. right into Cam's chest. Cam bringing it up. Ha ha. Cam with some trickery. A little bit, little bit of trickery there, huh? Ball's kind of jammed in on the right side again. Ball to Kata. Over to Cam. Cam probably sent it up to Gablehart if I had to guess. Nope. Back in the middle to Froelich. Froelich playing with it with uh, two or three guys on him. Cam over to Kata. Kata chests it to Froelich. Froelich's going to rip it. And off the defensive leg. Good play by all around. Dice handled that pressure. De Dice is definitely under a lot of pressure. Yeah. Peters Township Bed certainly liked that play. <laughs> Martin with the slide. Take the ball out. It's a good way to test and see how your injury is feeling. That's right. You know, so pure <laughs> He's pressure. definitely getting tested now, yeah. isn't he? Peer pressure yelling at you to go for it. Yeah. You know, there you have it, right? Oh, yeah. You sort of forget that you even had an injury at that I point. I don't think don't. you have a choice. you got to go for that slide. <laughs> That's right. Stop the clock. Is that what that was? Timeout. Did he, did he give the X? He did, yeah, yeah, he didn't stop it. What? Stop it. I don't know, but they gave you the X, yeah, apparently. I missed it, too. It was on the far side. I just caught right, it. Okay, it's good. I thought you were supposed to watch for the center official. Normally they make the X, yeah. They even restart the clock. I thought the center guy was. All their dice working it down the side. This is their, is that their number nine there? Uh, Had their goal earlier. He's definitely in dangerous territory. This is dangerous yep, here. Yeah, we got a. Uh, Alderdice definitely with some pressure. Takes it out of the box to the top right. Defended by two Peters Township players right now sitting at the top. 
That was very, there you Whoa, go. Oh, punched out by Marcus. Very dangerous play there. Very, very good, yep. Well, that was very similar to the other yep. evening. Just looked like it yep. might go over the goaltender's head. He chipped that one over. Ball had a lot of top spin on it. It was it coming did. in quick. That was definitely going to be in. Marcus recognized it. Got the ball up and out of there, but Just definitely a it. significant dangerous play there by uh, Alderdice. Yeah. Woodward on the ball. Punched back into the box. Apple tested his hammies with the bicycle kick. Yeah. A rainbow, I guess that would be more of a rainbow, but. <laughs> Alderdice with a push here with nine minutes left. Peters has to stay sharp. Do not want to get a tie this late in the game. No. Uh, momentum definitely would swing. And uh, Alderdice definitely, uh, we got Matt Pollock definitely drawing that penalty. Good, good attempt there. Matt getting the call. Ball back to Peters. Caden's going to send that up. Looks like he's letting his team kind of settle in here a little bit. No rush here. Nope, definitely no rush. Eight minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. Everyone's finding their positioning. Logan Peters on the ball. <laughs> Finds Pusateri. Pusateri gets past the defender. Peters coming up with the ball. Oh, not bad. Uh, just a little too much on it. Goes out for a goal kick. Yep, looks like a goal kick, huh? Hmm. You'd like to see Peters get that pressure back they had on there mm -hmm. for a good five or so minutes. Yeah, they seem very pretty comfortable, maybe more comfortable than their fans with this lead, but yeah. you know, one mistake, I mean, we've seen it a million times, right? Yeah. One simple sure mistake. Have. Froelich coming up the middle with three guys on him, beats two of them, shoots it, goaltender in position. Yeah, you know he wants a goal, he's just. Yeah, he's definitely pushing for one. Yeah. Sendro on his man. Ball sitting at about midfield here for Alderdice. Alderdice is definitely up to possession time. Froelich with the ball has an opportunity to send it over. Good idea by Out of Apple. Bounds. Just went a little bit out of the line there. Seven minutes left here. Have a substitution coming in for Peters. I'm not sure who that is over there, but we do have a sub coming in here. Froelich's walking a little gingerly. I'm not sure if he's... No, he did not stop it, I don't believe. I didn't see the X. Did you see the X? I didn't see it. But no, I think it's running. Yeah. Whistle is... He didn't give you the X. That was a drop ball there. Hensler cuts this one off. <laughs> Drops it off to Logan Peters, yep. who Logan then Peters gets the it side, all the way up. Send to, it up uh, the middle here to Cam or to Woodward, back to Froelich. Froelich over to uh, Kada. Kada with the shot. Kata. Almost. Oh, what a save! Off the fingertips. Off the fingertips. Good save. Goalie's really earning his keep today. Dice's keeper is really keeping him in this thing, isn't he? Yep. I think this is Connor Seaman, and it's his first action in varsity, I believe. Oh, excellent, Connor. Good. If I can get a number, but it, I think it runs uh, like Connor. Yeah, it's definitely. The, the, the Seamans all look pretty much the yeah, same, you know. Yeah, he, he was running like <laughs> Connor. Yeah, 53, I can confirm. First varsity time for Connor coming in right now. Not bad. It's a good ball. Good ball by Woodward out to the corner. Oh, ball. Alderdice working hard to get that ball out. Pollock, uh, Pollock ran through the ball. 
Connor with the slide tackle. Got a little bit of the ball to slow it down, but a little bit dicey here for a Peters, you know? Alderdice on the push here. Yep. Finally have some men back, but Alderdice has the ball in our zone. We seem like we're on our heels a little bit with five minutes remaining in this yeah, game. Yeah, you just want to see him give a little bit more to finish this game out. Yeah, it's tight. It is. Alderdice looking for that leveler. Very tight. Pollock with the throw. Coming up here. Ball coming in. Pollock with the ball at about midfield. Connor Seaman on his player. Dice trying to keep the ball in play, does a good job of that. Not sure the call there. Looks like but, it's for Alderdice. Yep, yeah, we got Alderdice. Sitting in about the position where Cannon Mack made their free kick. Mm. Decent way from the goal. Yeah. But it's a dangerous position. You don't expect something to happen no. from there necessarily, but it sure does sometimes. Marcus has to Marcus has to call them off there. Ran into his own players, but it all worked out. Nice touch by Woodward. Yep, Cam's running. Or oh, that's an elbow in the back. I keep calling him Cam, but Woodward is Grant. Sorry. We got some subs coming in for Peters. Bunch of subs. I didn't see. I'm sorry. So, can't see who's all over there, but we got three Peters players coming in soon here. All right, three minutes, 30 seconds left. Goalkeeper for Alderdice has the ball, rolls it out to his defense. That free kick still seems to be a little bit of thorn in Peters' side from about 50 yards away. That's right. Um, Definitely something probably coach will work on with them, that distance free kick at the goalie. Good play by Sendrowski. Sendrowski sending it out to the crowd. A little yeah, bit of a he's crowd. he's a tough player, isn't he? Yep, really good player. Bit of a crowd pleaser there. Yep. Ball out of bounds again. We got, uh, we got Paris back in the game. Um, Is that Jevin back Jevin's in? Jevin's back in. And then number uh, 19, 18, 19. Yeah, um, I know it'll come. I got to find his name on here. Mm -hmm. Heinsen, Connor Heinsen. Yes, Heinsen. that's it. Heinsen, 11. 11. Yep. All right. Well, he's got a 15 on out there. But that's him. That's him. Yep. It's oh, he is 15. Him. I'm sorry. Connor Heinsen, 50. Priest is 11. The Beebs. So the classic slow it down for the team in the lead here. Uh, we got the ball in the offensive zone, sitting above the box. Froelich on his foot, taking the shot. Goaltender has it, does realize some urgency, but still rolling it out to his defense, not sending it down. They definitely want to play it from defense forward. Ball sitting about midfield, just being bounced about. Not a bad ball down into the corner, but it's going to roll out. Yep. For a goal kick. Yep. Caden playing that well. That's going to probably cost them 40 plus seconds. <laughs> yeah. Coming up on the two minute warning here. Yeah. If we had such a thing in soccer. I believe we do. All right. We do now. All right. All we right. do now. Well, we have the pro team coming in, checking in on his uh, substitution on the, uh, <laughs> on the announcing box. Right? <laughs> but was, I've got complaints, people. Oh, yeah. no. I got lots of complaints. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Alderdice Minutes, knocking on the yeah, door here. Coming up the, in the box here, Someone's got to get on him. Yeah. Okay. Out for right. a corner. We'll yeah. But you remember the corner is how they scored the first one. I do. Hard so, to forget. Hard to forget that. So, so Coach Dyer putting all Peters Township players in the box, not leaving a striker up top. Putting everybody in deck with a minute and a half left in the game on the corner. 
set plays have been a little bit of a pain for Peters. A deep ball. We got the ball at the top of the box. Handball, but ref is not blowing the whistle for that. Got number eight with Jevin. Jevin being real cheeky, making sure he doesn't get the call and wasting good time. Connor Heinsohn with the corner again off of him. Minute left in the game, folks. A little too exciting this last it's minute, I'd say. It's a little bit too exciting. This is not a game we wanted to be this exciting, but no. here we are. Here we are. Corner kick. Alderdice realizing they need to move low and short this time. And they get it We out. got that pushed out there. I believe Sandrowski just threw that out deep. Ball back in for Alderdice. All Peters Township players back. All hands on deck. Heinsohn just kicking it out again. 30 seconds left in the game. Alderdice's fan pushing them to move quicker with the ball, placing it in play. Froelich with it's just going to send it to open field. That should waste a lot of time. We're going to hear Steve with the countdown. Oh, here we go. But maybe slow it down a little, Steve, for this uh, potential Ten, goal score. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there you have it, folks. There you have it. All right. Well, Alderdice. One, the home team two. We got the win. Little comeback from Ken and Mac. And see you next week. That was fun, Eric. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, pleasure. Welcome to the welcome to the family here. All right. Great job. Yeah, everyone. Thank you guys. Yeah.